Robert Lim Brothers is here today in District 9, the heart of Orchard. We're going to show you a very interesting property at Patterson Residence. You get a swing door that leads on directly to your pool. We have a strata landed unit to show you within a condo project. You have your own personal backyard space as well, right on site. This is 4058 square feet. Uh... Five bedrooms, five bathrooms. Yes, five bedrooms, five bathrooms, split across three levels. So we always like to talk about the we have a oh. <laughs> Do you wanna be a bad man? Yes you do. Do you wanna taste sweet salvation underneath the summer moon? So we're here today in one of District 9's most coveted addresses at Patterson Road and we're bringing it to a very rare type category of properties known as the strata landed housing and it's within a condo development and why is that rare we're going to share with you shortly so maybe let's talk a little bit about the location first we are along Patterson Road just at the intersection of Grange Road and Patterson Hill we are right in between Orchard MRT as well as Great Wall MRT currently to the MRT station it's about a seven minute walk when the new Orchard station coming up on the Thompson East Coast line when that is ready in 2022 it will literally be right at your door Step, it's gonna be about a three minute walk or about 350 meters away. Patterson Residence was developed by Guacoland Limited. Free hole in status, it's in District 9. It was completed in 2008. There are 110 units here, but there are only six strata landed terraces within the project. And all six strata landed houses are situated at the back of the project, facing towards the pool. So in front of you, as you can see here from your living area, you have direct access to your private balcony space, as well as the pool. If I'm gonna do the things I said, Back in the 1970s and 1980s, there were a lot of strata houses that were called townhouses. It is essentially strata landed housing within a gated community. Back then, you didn't have facilities like the pool, your tennis courts and things like that, just like what a condo would have right now. Over time, it has evolved into the 1990s to the year 2000s where you see strata houses within condominium developments, but you have facilities within it. That is how the cluster houses came about. Basically, get uh, facilities like as you would in a condo and you also pay like a monthly maintenance fee but what that means is also you get somebody to take care of your internal facade of your structure because you're living in a house itself right? and also of course your pool, your facilities, the large greenery it's all taken care of by the managing agent or the MCST people that are engaged right? so that means that while living in a strata home if you prefer something a bit more hassle free mm. then I think strata landed uh, housing or cluster housing is something that you perhaps want to consider within the cluster housing type of uh, category there are also two different types one is where you have the entire development being filled with cluster housing meaning there's no apartments and then you have another type of cluster housing within a condominium development so what a key difference is that if you are a foreigner and you're planning to buy a kind of landed home what you're eligible for in terms of in Singapore is you can only purchase a cluster house that's within a condo development and that has condominium status as compared to one that is purely cluster housing itself in terms of having a cluster house within a condo development you also means that there is future um, potential because in, in future it opens up doors to um, any type of buyer whether you're a Singapore citizen, a Singapore PR or even a foreigner. So Patterson Residence is right smack in the centre of Orchard Road. So you're minutes away from all of the shopping malls and the entire Orchard Road shopping belt. For local primary schools, within 1km you have uh, River Valley Primary. And then between uh, 1 to 2km you have other schools like Alexandra Primary, uh, you have ACS, all these great schools within 1 to 2km. Enough about the project, we will show you around the house and let's start right here. Alright, let's go. This is 4058 square feet, five bedrooms, five bathrooms, split across three levels and a basement as well. So on the basement, as you enter, that's your car park space, so you have two private lots per unit. When you walk in, then you have an entertainment room slash bedroom. You also have your yard and laundry area, as well as a yard WC and then your home shelter. So on the first floor, you have your living and dining area, your dry and then your wet kitchen, also a powder room. Your living room, you have access to own personal patio space. And then when you head up to level two, you have three bedrooms, one master, bedroom with its own ensuite, two common bedrooms as well as one common bath. When you head up to the third floor, that's where you have your additional bedroom or study as well as your own private terrace. 
So we're on level one of the home itself. What you actually get is this very nice frontage to the entire pool view spread across these three to four huge panels of uh, windows. So in this home itself, you have dual access to your patio. This is actually the main door of the home itself. It actually opens out to your patio space. It's all kind of like gated. So if your kids running around or if your uh, friends are over, you can chill out right on here by the pool. I think it's a very cozy type of a feeling. As compared to some of the other units, uh, this one has a more squarish and wider type of uh, patio space. There's still kind of space to put in like another settee here if you like or some swings. Or if not, you can just leave it as an open space for the kids to run around. So this is also where the other dual entrance into the patio space is. So it's a sliding door. If you kind of want to have dual entrances, you can use both. The other thing about landed living here is that you get a swing door that leads on directly to your pool. So it's literally like one feet away to your pool. I think that's great also because your kids, uh, if they are coming home, they want to go for a swim, they simply just have to pop out. You can also still look at them, you know, from the living room itself to ensure that they're safe. So heading back in. Coming back to the home, this is your living room space. Definitely huge enough. There's like a seven-seater type of uh, sofa setup right here. Still have space for this very nicely put in coffee table right in the middle of the space itself. If you want, you can do up your feature wall right on the back here. So this entire zone can be the TV console feature wall or if you want to even install like a projector, that's also possible as well. The living room space is all clad in marble. All you need to do is give it a new shine and polish. You are the next new homeowner of this lovely strata house. So it's now about 11.40 a.m. This is actually the morning sun that you see. Good east-west type of facing because east-west facing houses typically are brighter in nature as well. And over in the dining zone, it's tucked away right beside the dry kitchen area. Now it's like a six-seater, but this table actually can expand up to like an eight-seater. So you can comfortably sit like eight to ten if you're hosting guests over. Definitely a good size of a dining room itself. There's still space to kind of put in this very interesting side buffet kind of cabinet, right? I love these spikes. Very interesting, it's like pure wood. This can be like a little bar top counter. And as you head on to the back, you have a standalone dry kitchen clad in solid surface right here. Some storage spaces at the top and bottom. All inbuilt Miller appliances, they're all high end. There's a four induction type of a hop here. Built in oven at the bottom as well. Storage cabinets all around in this um, U shaped fashion. It's easy for you to maneuver when you're washing. You can just put your stuff here. When you're cooking, when it's done, you can just put it on your left and right as well. So I think that's very well thought out in terms of the kitchen space. If you're doing heavier cooking, there is still the wet kitchen space over here. So there's a sliding glass door already done here. You have also another dual sink inside. If you're doing heavier cooking, it's good to know that you have like three full kind of gas burners right here. All Miller as well. And your hob also has already been installed. Storages at the top and bottom, of course, drawer storage, deeper ones at the bottom for you to put in your pots and pans as well. You have your own personal backyard space as well, right on site. Set up some chill out chairs if you like. Or if not, you can also use this additional backyard space to be your little garden. So if you have green fingers, you can do some planting right on over here as well. So towards the back of the house, this is your western facing so you do get that bright kind of a sunlight coming in so i think in this um, strata landed home at a uh, patterson residence you have that powder room already inbuilt for your guests to use so they don't have to kind of traverse up and down I think that's very convenient as well so we're heading down to the basement now so this is where you find your two private car park lots. When you're heading out, you are also the closest to the exit as well. Behind this door, of course, lies the laundry area, your home shelter, as well as the yard area. Front here, you also have storage space under the stairs. Very deep, you can store tons of stuff inside. What it leads to in front here is also the family room or your fifth bedroom if you like. So you can close up these two doors right here. If you want to keep it like a media room, that's possible. If you want to use this as a bedroom, all you need to do is perhaps changing one of the doors uh, to one that's solid timber or you can simply just put blinds if you're going to use this as a guest room. Right? But I think it's a very good size space. You have like this huge two-seater couch at the corner. You can actually put in a king-size bed right on over here with two side tables. Still have space for your entire wall of wardrobe tucked away in this side of the wall. I noticed something which is also the ceiling height is pretty high here. I think it's almost three meters. So at the back, you actually get this natural skylight and daylight that comes in so it's actually sheltered from the rain already so you can definitely put in things here so for example now homeowners have put in this huge mirror as a decorative piece you can also put in like a chest of drawers if you like Heading back up, we're going to chat a bit more about the pricing comparisons and what are some of the strata landed properties that you can get here in District 9 
In the entire D9, 10, 11 landscape, there are only seven projects that have strata landed properties within condominium project. And within D9, uh, as we mentioned earlier, there are only three. Patterson Residence being one of them. The other two, one would be Yongan Park, which will be in 1986. There are only eight strata landed units within Yongan Park, 7,700 over square feet. Currently on the market is asking about 18.9 million, which works out to be about over 2,004 PSF. Apart from Yongan Park, you also have Oxley Residence. Residence. Slightly newer project, TOP 2014. The strata landed units there are also larger at over 8,900 over square feet. Quantum wise, you are looking at above 15 million, so about 15.1 million. We can also take a look at some of pure landed in the area. So, in the immediate Patterson vicinity, you have Linko Angsa. So, Assembly there is going for about 4,800. PSF or quantum wise about 12 million for a semi-D of a similar build up size. Over in the One Tree Hill landed enclave area, you also have semi-Ds ranging in terms of PSF from about 2008 to 3008 PSF. In terms of pricing for Pedersen residents, this unit is asking 8.8 .8 million at 4058 square feet for the build up that works out to be about 2168 PSF. So if you're looking for strata landed, you might also be comparing some of the four or five beta uh, type of condominium projects in D9. Uh, so let's have a look. The Avenir, which is in District 9, condo status, freehold tenure, estimated COP in 2025. Pricing there is about 7.5 to about 8.1 odd million. Four bedroom type, 2,400 odd square feet, about 3,001 to about 3,400 per square foot. The other project at Juniper Hill is a condo status, freehold tenure, Estimated TOP in 2022, price is about 5.67 million as a 4 beta per study, but a bit smaller in size, 2,900 per square foot. So if you compare some of these new launches in comparison to where we are at, which is the Strata Landed, size-wise, I think most of them are standing at only half the size, which is about 2,000 odd square feet. Per square foot pricing-wise, I think most of them are in the range of close to about 3,000 odd per square foot or above. So for Patterson residents, you really hit that three very important components that we always like to talk about in terms of the trifactor. So you are under 2002 PSF, so at 2168 PSF for a build up of 4058 square feet, asking 8.8 .8 million. Quantum wise, you're also very comfortably under 9 million, uh, whereas lots of all the other options are ranging over the $10 million mark. In terms of location, you're one of the closest to Orchard MRT within walking distance to the main Orchard Road shopping belt. So that was pricing. Uh, now I'll take you upstairs and I'll show you the bedrooms. This is where you have your three bedrooms. So you have your master bedroom, two common bedrooms as well as the common bathroom. Let's check out the master first. You have a great ceiling height, beautiful view of the pool, so it's internal facing, so it's really quiet. You get to enjoy uh, this pool view. So all these finishes were original from the developer. This is meant to be like a TV wall or like your feature wall. And then there's a console right here for your appliances. Bed size wise, this is about two doubles or a king size equivalent. We also love this uh, bay window area where you have this really comfortable seating for you to relax and enjoy the pool view. One of the best parts for this is like your walk-in wardrobe. So lots of storage for your clothes, his and hers. And then this area leads you into your master ensuite. You've got plenty of natural ventilation. We like that the WC is in a separate area from the shower and also your bathtub. So the finishes in the master bathroom, they're all marble. So you have marble on the walls as well as the flooring. And then compressed tiles in the shower area. So this has a shower as well as a bathtub. Great, you get both, the best of both worlds. And we also like that you have this air well here, which let extra natural light into the shower area. And then you have double vanities, his and her things. So in this landing area, there's also additional storage space. So shelves for you to display your toys or other items. And then this is the common bathroom, which these two common rooms share. Great size, you have standing shower area, ventilation window and then also shower ledge for you to put your toiletries. So this is one of the two uh, common bedrooms. All the room sizes here are great with a great ceiling height. Your built-in wardrobe is over here. You do have a bay window right over here but we think that you can utilize this so you can put either a storage or repositioning your bed over the bay window so you can do like sort of a platform bed 
and then coming out, this is the second common bedroom, which is a similar size to that one. This is the built-in wardrobe here. Right now, this is a single bed with storage underneath. Similarly, this room can accommodate up to a queen. All of your rooms, this is all timber flooring. They are good to go um, with just a polish and a varnish. We love the expansive windows, which make the room feel really spacious and bright. They have utilised the bay window to display their toys, but this bay area here can also be a very comfortable uh, seating area. So we're coming up to the third floor where you have one more bedroom, one more bathroom and also a really nice private roof terrace space. So this is the fifth bedroom or your home office. Apparently this is all glassed up so I love that if you're not using it as a bedroom then this is great because it allows the room to be so bright because you've got natural sunlight streaming in from all corners of the room. But if you do need a fifth bedroom then you can either put in blinds here for extra privacy or you can uh, change up this wall, have this be an enclosed bedroom. Uh, this room in itself is such a great size, you could easily put in a king size bed here. But this is such a comfortable home office for you to stay at home and work in. And it even has its own balcony space. This room also has its own bathroom over here, with all the similar finishes as the bathrooms that you've already seen. Coming out over on this side, this is your private roof terrace space which comes with all the strata units here. You can deck up this entire roof area so it doesn't heat up as much during the day or when it gets hot. Uh, you can put in maybe a jacuzzi here and this can be a little private entertainment space. You can also possibly uh, install a trellis for some shelter. This entire area becomes highly usable. fact about foreigner eligibility for landed housing in Singapore. If you're a foreigner, you do need LDAU approval in Singapore to buy any sort of landed property. For these sort of strata landed properties with strata titles, you don't need LDAU approval, which makes this a viable option if you're a foreigner and you want a landed kind of living but uh, you don't want to go through the hassle of applying for approval. There's also certain criteria you need to fulfill in order to be uh, eligible. Uh, for example, you need to be a Singapore PR for at least five years, and you would also have to have made significant contribution to the economy in Singapore. So for this particular type of property, it really opens up your future exit audience to all citizenships because there are no eligibility criteria to fulfill. So Patterson Residence is a full facilities condo. You get to have a lap pool, you have a wedding pool, jacuzzis. You also have tennis court, barbecue pits, and of course, you're not forgetting two private car park lots right in front at the basement area. So this is a strata landed terrace within a condo project. It has five bedrooms, five bathrooms. So a build out of about 4058 square feet. You get that uh, all citizenship eligibility as well if you are looking to exit in the future. I think uh, as we compare to the earlier price comparisons, uh, which would have a good potential in future if you are planning an exit strategy as well. Holding that Patterson address, rentability is definitely quick to go as well. So definitely strong rental demand in this area. So if you want to come and have a physical look at the property itself, uh, do give our listing manager Beatrice a call, right? Her contact information is located down below. And if you want to find out a bit more information about the property, the link is also down in the description. So I hope you enjoyed this home tour with us here at Property Lim Brothers. My name is Mark Chan. Beatrice Lim, Property, Property Lim, Lim Brothers. Brothers. Always happy, happy to show you the place. place. Beatrice Lim. Uh, eh? Property Lim Brothers? <laughs> yeah, Property Lim Brothers. Okay, sorry, sorry. Okay. Show you a strata landed property. Property Lim Brothers is here today in District 9. Uh, we're bringing it to... Okay, yeah, sorry. I'm distracted by the car. So if you want to kind of have a physical look at the property, give Beatrice a call. Can <laughs> uh, I cookie my tea? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, let's talk about let's talk about the layout of let's talk about the layout of this house. So 405. Yeah. 